Samuel Joseph, aka Trench, is one of the leaders of Rogue Company. He's a two-speed, four-toughness defender whose official job is to slow the enemy down, deny them ground, and defend a site. His real job, however, is to annoy the enemy while polluting the map with metal and explosives. This is how to play him best in Season 6. Okay, let's talk about his guns. <sighs> he has access to the MXR DMR and the HRM 30KS assault rifle. Compared to the rest of the rogues, this selection is terrible. His armory is like dry Weetabix. It does the job in a pinch, but it's not enjoyable at all. The assault rifle hurts, yeah sure, but it has horrific rate of fire and it recoils like a pheasant. If you're going against someone long or close range, you will die. The DMR is a little better, good accuracy at range, decent clip size, and if you can learn to hip fire at close range, you might even do well. But like I said, there are much better guns and better selection out there. He has the baseball bat as a melee weapon, which is fine, but honestly, just stick with his pistol. The Executioner is great at all ranges and can kill most of the cast without an issue. Hip fire here will also serve you well, but you do not play Trench for his guns. Let's talk about his main strength, his ultimate and his gadgets. Trench has barbed wire, which slows and now damages enemies over time. He has access to two of these at the start of each round, and the ability to deploy more slowly recharges over time, so he can slowly but surely spam the map with these metal traps. These can be destroyed with explosives, melee weapons, or even bare fists. These aren't for damage or killing, but more so to slow the enemy and to hold a choke point. Be mindful where you place these. Put them in a position where the enemy will be exposed, either crossing them or trying to melee it out. Even out in the open is better than in a corner, as the enemy can remove it for free. So here, gun and ultimate in hand, which are terrible for killing. So why on earth would you play Trench? Trench's passive is that he can carry an additional gadget. Once they are fully upgraded, that means he can carry three trip mines at once. Plus, unlike other certain games, once you die, your placed claymores or trip mines do not magically disappear, which means you get three more trip mines when you respawn, which means you can place more trip mines down across the map, and so on. Be sneaky with them, place them at the end of a zip line or over a vault around a tight corner. Try to keep the lasers just out of sight and you should be getting regular downs. Combo these with your barbed wire, cover one side so they're more likely to be funneled towards your mines and get some free downs. In Season 5 this tactic was horrifically broken. In Season 6 it's still fantastic but the more beefier rogues or those that can afford armour not made by Fisher-Price can now tank a trip mine and not go down. So how do we combat this? Trench has access to the resupply perk, which means every time he eliminates an enemy, he'll get a supply kit as well as a money bag. Once he goes over this, he will restock all three of his trip mines, which means, guess what? More spamming explosives around the map. The more people you kill, the more mines you place, and the more mines you place, the more people you kill. Rinse and repeat. Get to the top of the leaderboard without firing a single shot. Wait, what? what what's, what's that? What is that? What? Glitch, unfortunately, is the hard counter for Trench. His passive allows him to see all deployables highlighted through walls, including trip mines, and his ultimate, thanks to Season 6, now pretty much covers the entire map, which means he can wipe out most of your trip mines instantly. If you see a glitch on the enemy team, forget trip mines, grab the DMR, get tracker rounds, and helping hand, and help your team as a support. I haven't really talked about the APS or his other perks, but in all honesty, eh. Use your barbed wire wisely, hide your claymores well, and play defensive, and you will do very, very well with your team. Just bear in mind, the voice line will be ingrained in your head forever. Deploying lethal. Deploying lethal. Deploying lethal. That's all you need to know about playing Trench. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, you know what to do. And to all the glitch mains out there, F